Hi, this is Shapemaster. We're going to show you what you can do with this new package, which you can do for a Luca Bond type materials or composite aluminium materials. You start up with this screen here, you go to your job settings screen, type in your job number, whatever it likes to be, who your customer is, we can call this QST Systems, location or a reference, whatever you like to have in there as well. You can also choose materials. You can build up your own material database as well. But you can choose, say, Die Bond or a Luca Bond, something like this in here. We just hit OK. From there, we've got a library of of uh, different types shapes, such as the what we call the bow tie. So this one here is what goes on the uh, shop front. So you can actually put the customer's details along here. You can cut this out onto a CNC machine and um, put their name and things up into here but you can reach change all of these sizes so you can make this one a whole lot bigger if you like to do things like that changing these sizes makes it say 650 make this one 750 this uh, screen over here shows you what the cutout shape is going to look like you can press the button up here folded and it shows you what the folded sheet will actually look like so you can see this is a little bit strange at the moment so we can make this one a little bit I'll make this one here a little bit bigger say 700 there so it changes the shape there, we can make this one say 800 you can see it goes to an external size there which is not really what you're after it's more like this sort of shape is where they generally sit so there's quite a range of things once you've chosen the one you want push F12 and it adds it into this list under here so it's ready for manufacturing you've got say rectangles for doing columns and posts once again shows you the folded shape of it or the actual machine shape of it now this will cut to the right depth so it can all fold together. So the height here could be, well let's say 650 high, 450 wide. The depth of the, the, side, the side arms there, well, let's say make them 50 in this case. You can go in and add in machining holes as well. So you can say A, so it shows you on the screen A, B, C, D obviously. So let's say A and D, and it shows you on the screen here where these holes are now. So you can pre-drill all your holes. You can also add in toggles. And what these do, if I make this part smaller again, you can see it actually adds in a toggle through like this. And what you can do there is say, in this connected point A, you put in a male and a female toggle, so the thing actually locks in together so it stays into the right shape. You can add in these where they are as well. Once you've got that set up, once again, push F12. Actually add in a quantity of those as well you like. We add three of those. Push F12. Now we've got a couple of rectangles in there. If you don't want them, hit the hit the delete button and you can delete them right out it shows you a label here what they actually are and there's a whole range of different things in here different shapes and components and sizes so you can just get them to suit whatever you want to do with it so a weird and wonderful shapes once again once you've completed that you push uh, F12 and adds them into the library into here once you've add them, added all your parts into the library you very simply push F8 and that will now produce all of the machining which will go directly into end route um, so you can actually machine those parts directly onto your machine. Thank you very much.